What is going first? We are back with a World Cup and we got Gypsy playing for Oceania versus Sijima uh, playing for France. I think Sijima is 2 0. He won versus Poik and. Who was the second opponent? I forgot. I think he won versus Destiny Device and versus Poik so far. And I think Gypsy only played versus Poik. I think he's owned one. And he brings a pretty interesting balance team. I've seen him use Scarflady plus Spex Kelio. Um, would be interesting to see if it's the same combination. And Chijima's bringing Mega Hera Cross. So that's either Spadev Toxapex or AV Megina. Or both. If he really doesn't want to lose to Rain, he can have AV Megina and this. Even though. He's still weak to he's still super weak to Swampert kinda if you would face it rain. Like he doesn't have Swampert switches what is what I'm trying to say. Or at least not good switches. He would only cover like the King part and everything like that. See so this just lead over the top of Coco and we're gonna add some to call real quick. So he does lead over the top of Coco. So I think Z move is either Coco or Megina. Scarf and Greninja maybe? Yeah, he gets up the Rockstar one, this is fine. Like, most people don't stay in with their Coco and Landorus. Like, rocking there is a bit risky, but I understand it. He doesn't have Hazard Control, so that's pretty nice to get them up. Yeah, this is obviously his Rocker too, so he's probably just gonna get up his own Rocks. And I can see a Hard Keldeo here, or... If he has HP, as you can obviously go for that. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm here. I'm just oh, turning on the game. Okay. Yeah, he gets up the rocks too. That's probably yeah. fine because, like, you don't want to let the cell stealer in and. HPS won't do nothing to that. Like if you just go for HPS and don't get up rocks, you don't get anything out of that turn. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I think Gypsy probably predicted the H uh, the fly the Z fly. Sky strike. Oh, mm. which, yeah, which does a lot of damage to the lander, so he didn't want to take all the damage, I guess. Uh -oh. He's gonna go uh, packs now. Just looking, just looking at it, I think uh, Landris is the Z move on for. Uh, Kurumas, and for mm -hmm. Gypsy King, uh, for Gypsy King, mm, it's probably Z move Latios or something, or it, it could be Z move Vival, which would be interesting with like SD or something. Wait, I haven't thought about that. At first, I said it was Scarf Lady because I know that I know that he used Scarf Lady plus Spex Kelly once, but it doesn't mean that he uses it again. Yeah, you can either skull yeah, you know, if, if he has T spikes. That's a possibility. T spikes would be an option here, but Ladi is probably gonna come out. Uh, yeah, Ladi always comes out. Uh, he goes for the toxic. Yeah, that's really nice over T spikes because T spikes would be able. Like Ladi can. It's not affected yeah, by T spikes. Yeah, Ladi can defog away the hazards. I yeah. Guess. But now he doesn't want to defog. I think it's like he want, he set up the rocks and his opponent can't get rid of them. Only if T spikes were up, he was tempted to defog then. Mhm. Mm those are in the match, you know? Is that AV? Just for uh, no, that other 20. I don't think that's AV unless this is Spex Latios. Uh, I think he's the move he has Psychic over Psyshock. That's weird. At first I thought he was just. Yeah, th but I yeah, think this is probably uh, Z move. He's a lot. Lati Kelly or Weevil has to be the Z move man. I'm not sure which. Which one you think is the psychic or a specific Z move? Z Thunder or Z Psychic? No, I I meant the measure now might be. Oh okay. okay. Z move on. Yeah. Um Let me just calc the damage. Oh Lati was did uh twenty to the measure now. Mm hmm So unless this is uh specs and this is assault vest, uh, that does damage doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's, uh, 
So Wait, what? Right? Is he flash cannon? Is he? Okay, he's flash cannon. So is he cocks and that, crash? Yeah, I think the damage definitely shows that uh, Majorana is more offensive. So it's probably a shift gear Majorana with like flash cannon, um, bolt beam, and bolt beam. Uh, but then uh, it really can't touch heat run. So can't touch Ferrothorn. It, it either. can be like I think it's like a uh, flash cannon over T bolt because. Uh, the usual bolt beam uh, with focus blast Majorna is walled by. Uh, it's not walled. It's like, um, Checked. yeah, the, by fairies like uh, Clefable or uh, Lele does not take too much damage from it. So it's like a three hit K or something. So I guess that's why he has flash cannon over probably the T bolt or the ice beam. It also does more to stuff like Mew if he has like a Z Cox go crash. Mhm. Mm or he could be even Z Twinkle tackle. So that's an option. So most cells Liga don't carry air slash defensive ones. Yeah, so they're I, usually heavy from flamethrower, leech, and protect. Well, he doubles predicting Lando slash what? No, he didn't predict Lando. He just predict flamethrower. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, so if gypsy uh, gypsy king stayed in. Do you think this is like phys phys def cell sealer because? I'm pretty sure Rock Blast or Close Combat is no Rock Blast is a two hit KO and Celesteel, right? Or yeah, like he could have as Rock Blast plus Close he could have as D there and gotten a kill, so he might be fist dev. But I'm not sure. Like the tank was just AV for sure then. Yeah, you're just gonna. I think he's just you turning. Yeah, I think he's gonna U-turn. He doesn't time. have to, hmm. but his team is kind of offensive, so he wants the momentum. Yeah. Like he doesn't have that many good switchings to Landorus. So if he T bolts into that, I mean, if he has HPS, he can go for that. Uh -oh. Okay. So Lando can, yeah. if okay, he has the, a U-turn, so he can go for U-turn. Maybe predicting the U-turn from Coco. Psychic. 20, so I don't think it. This is not this. Uh, scarf does like a minimum 21 to 25. Uh, the psychic did around 20. No, it did j exactly 20. So I'm not sure what kind of Larios this is and what kind of a measure it is. It's probably um. It's probably like a HP invested measure, to be honest, with shift gear. Mm. Or. Oh. So if you're gypsy here, this is kind of risky if this has HP eyes because then you're kind of forced to EQ. But if you if you EQ into the opposing landers, it's also annoying. So you gotta get this play correct. I can also go Heracross potentially if he doesn't want to go landers. <laughs> on HPIs from this landers. Okay, so if this is a uh, max special attack, um, assault with Majorna, so that is like max HP, max special attack Majorna, then a uh, Spex Larios does. Okay, well, what did you go for? Z? Sky Strike. Okay. Did a lot, but Coco eats it. Okay, I did not think about Z move there. I thought it was on Ladi because I saw Psychic over Psyshock. I think this is uh, th this is probably Specs Ladios and it's uh, the Majorna is um, Assault West with Max Special Attack. Why is the lobby chat dead as fuck? Why am I even recording the chat if it's dead? Let me zoom in. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Could be for sure. Like, I don't, I don't really see Flash Cannon on AV. Yeah. So the pin missile would OCC. Like the pin missile is too obvious. He has a. He's gonna suck his landers here. Like so there's not much to think he about. Like, uh, two or something? He's two and oh yes. Yeah. He one was a spoke and. It's destiny, destiny device. But yeah, that's like a weird echo when I like I can hear myself when through you. Like I don't know how to describe it. Did he have sub? Oh, sub would have been nice, maybe. 
So probably SD. Uh, I guess it's probably SD. Yeah, SD three attacks. And he's scared out by some months anyway, so there's no point in SDing. Yeah. Uh, probably uh, gonna uh, Scarf go. Hydro Pump does not knock out uh, Heracross, right? From no, Kevin Scarf Field. should not, but he's gonna go Ladi and then. I don't yeah, he's know. going to go Lottie and probably Doubler. Oh wow. Okay. So he's just... So he's fist death and probably... Oh, like he's like really sure that he can live a CC and then kill it with Flamethrower. Otherwise he wouldn't bring this out. Uh, he's uh, he's uh, just going to go... Oh, just, oh, what? oh what? Damn it sucks that I can hear myself. That lives on oh, one, wow. So that must uh, have been a roll. Oh. Yeah. Assuming uh, Heracross. Heracross. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's gonna have to sack the Celesteed. I don't think he has good switch. And it's like, like, you don't want to go Lottie on CC and take Rocks and Poison, you might die. Or take 5 million. Yeah. That. That did. The close combat did around like. Four. Mm -hmm, 69 so that that's like a low uh, roll and close combat if this is max attack adamant and um is it fist death or spadef? Minus, minus one it, it's uh, if it's pedef uh, usually i think this uh the stealer is definitely spadef on this team because defensive would not make that much sense I, mean, I was thinking spadef at first but i'm not sure anymore i wasn't sure anymore after he brought out on the hero but yeah, he could still live a CC. And minus one. Okay, so minus like, one flamethrower on standard Samogon set does 60 to 70. And that did 75, I guess. Maybe so, he has less bulk than the standard uh, set. Let or me something. just count for zero uh, EV. Like, Celestial has really good natural bulk. Yeah, the role, the, the role was still in Kidama's favor to live because uh, minus one flamethrower does. Uh, 60, 66 to 78. Okay. Okay, so that was a decent high roll, okay. Like, it makes sense that Celestia still lift, is what I meant to say. And also the way he played this, because now Heracruz dies to rocks and he can't really save it. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's not really a point in going again and taking extra damage. He probably just taking this. Yeah, but uh, Vival could be a. Tr I thought if Vival was something like Z move, Vival yeah, instead of the landers, I thought it could be a bigger threat. Which Z move does he? Um. He goes with a Draco Meteor. Z knockoff is that a set or like Z some that move? Because I don't know that. I've only seen Bishop use something like that. Yeah, he went for Draco because he might be choice and he doesn't want yeah, to let the Greninja in. I, I, I am, I am assuming this is choice specs, Radius. Oh, and I think it's AV Magina then. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a max special attack AV measure. No? Doesn't he get a free Volt switch then here? Or oh, Flurikin? Yeah, uh, I, I would probably. Yeah, he gets a pro he probably gets a free wall switch. I mean, you can also ice beam into Faroka, and I think they should kill the Tangros. Or maybe not, the Tangros is pretty healthy. Tangros is at full almost. So uh, yeah, I guess um, it's at 65%, but it comes in and rocks, and after regenerated, it's probably like a around. I think it's at um, 86. Eight? Yeah. yeah, around that. I mean, wall switch is fine, but. <laughs> like, I don't think. See that many monster pressure the Tangros anymore after the Heracross went down. But yeah, Toxapex is obviously really annoying still for Tang. Yeah, yeah, it's around 86 exactly. I see Ice Beam and the Flurkin, I think, would have killed. But I guess he doesn't have Ice Beam if he has Flashkin, yeah. Red Switch, Flurkin, and either Aura Sphere or. I don't know the last move. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got the sets right. This is uh, probably Max Special Attack Majorna and uh, 
Gypsy is Spex Larios. So he changed it up this time. Like last time I saw him, he had have like when he had Keld and Ladi, it was the other way around. I think yeah, the Keld yeah, was Spex and the uh, Ladi was Scarf. Yeah, against the Oblivion, this thing, right? <laughs> or he's asked did anyone Keld if this is AV Major. It depends on the set from the thing, probably, yeah. The thing is, if you earthquake into the Landris and this the Landris is Sky Strike, that's a bit annoying. But overall, CG Must doesn't lose anything from going Toxapex, I think, because that thing is just fat and earthquake won't do enough. <laughs> so if he has Fault, he can just click that. So he can't get doubled on. Oh, wow, he's slower. Why? Oh, why is he slower? Is uh, it, he's tripping? Tri yeah, then that's that's the only reason. So he's not AVC. <laughs> so it's not AB. Uh, no, it's not specs. If it's not AB, then then it's not. Is then this damage rule does not make sense on. Uh, okay. So okay. 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 It makes it makes sense now. It's uh, it's it's max HP and max special attack. Yeah. So the the calc wasn't wrong, and uh, it's probably sold you Ladios. And this is a uh, trick room measure, no? Twinkle tackle, flash gun, and I don't know what the last move is. Maybe focus blast. I mean, he probably he's already gonna scald here, but yeah, like the Majuna, if the Ladi doesn't have HP fire, I can still have a hit from that. Oh, well, he didn't scald. He didn't want to let the Greninja or the Landris come in. <laughs> yeah, see, Jumas has this. Unless the Weaver has like some wild set. But I don't see that we were pulling through when there's like when there's like a Pex still healthy because he's gonna recover here. Why did he not recover? Oh, he pricked him to switch. I mean, he's gonna recover eventually. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think if the Gypsy King countered right, he would have known this is a. Or offensive trick room variant of Majorna because um, the only way, and this is Scarf Ladios uh, because uh, oh, Psychic does 18 to 20, 18 to 21, and uh, if it is a uh, trick room variant of Majorna. I thought you said it's um, Soldu, but I haven't run any Calyx. Yeah. No, no, it's Tri Scarf. It's not Soldu for sure. He might take off the Coco here because the Pex is still really useful. Oh, Heart Magina, okay, like the Magina. Wait, this can live a hit now. See? Okay, it is so yeah. Not scarred. I'm messing up. That's fine. Ladios sold you. This is still an interesting game. So Okay, it is it can be sold you as well. And sold you does more than I mean yeah, like sold you is only like one point two stronger and like the rules are not yeah, that yeah, yeah. different I think. Yeah. Yeah. The damage. It still does dead. almost the same. It is 19 to 22 instead of 18 to 21. Okay. So this is a sword you got to use and. Mm, you just like clock in here. Yeah. yeah. Floor cannon gets a kill. Uh, and Gypsy can just click. Uh, Psy Shock here, hoping he. Okay, Psy Shock. Uh, it's Psychic, so it definitely. He doesn't have Psy Shock, I don't think because so. It does yeah, because it does 19 to 22. And I don't think even Psy Shock kills. I don't know if he has HP fire in the last slot. No, it doesn't, okay. He flash can. He just went for the accurate move, which is understandable. Yeah, yeah. He didn't want to miss. Now he goes around the. Mm, I don't see how Gypsy can win this. 
I know I say that sometimes and people come back, but this time I'm like, I'm like kind of yeah, sure. Yeah, this, this time I don't think he can win. Like he can't even set up an SD if he has that. Like if he has some SDZ move. Yeah, if he's like SD. Uh, like he just sacks the Magina here. Maybe he has yeah, a yeah. chance. So that forces no, Gypsy, Gypsy to attack. Gypsy to... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so this is Baron B, right? Or he's just bluffing a blind. Uh, he's just bluffing a band. No, it's not live, but it's either band or Z move. Mm -hmm. uh, so it can't it can't be Zemo because it's already Zemo Z fly Landris. No, oh, right. <laughs> I I remember so. that uh, CG man is used. The Twinkle Tackle, but I forgot about the Sky Strike. The classic Dark Root here. He's just gonna scald, right? Yeah. Like, the Keldia can't even touch this, is over. Okay. So, this is some oh, interesting. Is it Rest Calm Mind? Is it Rest of Chesto? Is this Rest Sleep Talk? What is the item from the Keld? Like splash plate or something, the rest talk set that we saw in Auras. I think Gypsy doubled her into the Vival predict predicting, predicting the some sort of switch. Yeah. No, pre yeah, predicting probably the toxic. Uh, yeah, what's that thing? Uh, pre predicting the Coco. Because if he went Coco, then it was a 50 50 yeah. between uh, Eye Shot and. Uh, and Knockoff? Pursuit. And knock oh, Pursuit. Yeah, Eye Shot and Pursuit. I mean, even the crit didn't do enough to the pegs. Yeah. I think this is just sleep talk with um skull and secret sword to, to like like bishop and Biwa is not that common at the moment or are not that common. Oh, he doesn't have sleep talk. So, so is this rest three attacks? I don't know. That's interesting to say the least, I guess. Yeah, he picks up the landers, brings it down to 3-0, and he can go in a, either Coco or something else to finish it off, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if Oshidena even won like a Sun and Moon game so far. I think they're like uh, 4 and 13 or something like that. Yeah, Curry said Oshidena Sun Moon is 0 10. But Gypsy hasn't played his game yet. Oh, this is his last game. Yeah, yeah, he's his third game. I mean, his first game was was somewhat close. It was also only a two and zero, but like Sijumas was in control. Yeah, like it, it was game. close, but Poik was dominating throughout, and even yeah. this game. Yeah, this game Sijumas was also kind of in control. This game looks close, but it wasn't really close at yeah, any yeah. point. Yeah. I'm not sure. There's probably gonna so be like game. six hours of break until the next game is happening. Yeah, but, and I think this was played pretty early. And you can find, see by the smoke to chat that yeah the smoke to chat is dead that's why I decided against recording it like I zoomed in after a few minutes because there was nothing happening <laughs> now they're talking they're talking a little bit now but not really much I can zoom out real quick yeah, yeah. but uh, we're gonna be back later there's a lot back of back games too. today like I think race garbage was blunders happening and oh that's in how many hours oh I soon like later tonight or like oh, yeah, I said he said between 8 my time and 11 my time, which would be in like 10 to tr nice. 10 hours, something like that. But thank you guys for watching. See you when I woke up later. And thanks to BTB for being my guest. There was some like echo, but it's fine. I hope. Goodbye.